Welcome back everybody. This is part two of my beef ribs in the quick cooker. It is now 525. It just went off five minutes ago. So that was a full hour, which included the 40 minutes plus the, it took about 15 minutes or so to um, pressurize. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll do a quick release. I'll put my fan on. I always put it under my stove so it goes, has somewhere to go. We'll let that run. that's when it's safe to open your lid. Sometimes it takes forever. I'll sometimes poke on it with a knife or something. They're kind of dropped and then the extra steam will come out of there too if you're in a bit of a hurry but really a hurry is like another 20 seconds. <clears throat> May not even be worth it. There we go. Open that up. Woo. Oh those look fantastic. as I'm awing and eating it. Okay, so here we are. There they are. Okay, so. These, let's see. Oh, ah. Okay, it feels like this bone wants to fall off here. Let's see. It's trying to fall off. All right. Oh yeah. All right, so this meat here is looking pretty good. Oh, let's have a little taste. I'm gonna peel off nicely. All right, so what I'm gonna do next, let's flip some out. I have our insulated bowls here. Take them out, put them into these bowls, put the lid on. Alright, there we go. Now we're going to have this leftover reservoir of liquid, and of course, we'll put the lid on there, and some fat, of course, some grease. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it off into another measuring cup, and then I'm gonna sift off the grease. I'm just gonna back this up here so you can see what I'm doing. I do also have a turkey baster if needed. Mm. Okay, it asks you to reserve one cup of this liquid for, making your sauce <clears throat> and then you're going to put this back on to sear with your barbecue sauce and thicken it up put that down all right so there's actually a good fair amount of fat in there so i'm just going to scoop it off into a little prep bowl i got Use either a turkey baster or maybe even a spoon. Sometimes find a spoon is actually a lot more helpful, especially when it's that thick. That deep. You can just sift it off, or you can try pouring it off to whatever works easiest. Yeah. See, that's why I like to use a spoon. I'm starting to pour all the good stuff off the bottom. I just want to out that oil. Little chunks of 
that looks like we'll take that out. I'm getting close. If you don't do it now, you might have to do it after you cook it. It's coming out nicely now. Just got to get the sweet spot. So there's going to be more liquid here than you need. So that's a cup and a half, so I'll pour a little bit off. So we're going to put that back into the pot and we'll turn it to sear. Basically, by turning it to sear, it's like a hot plate. Put this back in. Now we're going to add, let's see, look all that yucky, yucky. You don't want to put that down your drain either. You probably want to um, let that chill, harden, and then dump it into your compost. Okay. So you want one cup of barbecue sauce, whatever you choose. We usually like to use the Sweet Baby Rays. Now I'm close to the end of this barbecue sauce. I'm gonna show you a little trick. I'm also using the Measure All Cup, which is really great for not having to scrape out your measuring cup. So, Okay, so obviously the sides are all filled. I've got this little hole, right, like a ketchup top. I'm just gonna bang it down a bit so there's no in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it upside down into my liquid and I'm gonna squeeze it up, so suction it up and then put it in here and then shake it around. I'm gonna get a lot more barbecue sauce out of there than I would if I just tried shaking it over and over and over. And then I'll do this. It's all going in there anyways, right? Probably going to need to open another bottle as well. But I really didn't add that much. You see how I'm able to get all that extra barbecue sauce out of there? But I might do it one more time. So I am going to have to find another bottle, which I do have. Now we're just going to tip it in. It's already kind of come up to a boil. Maybe another quarter cup or so. And I'm just going to give you the gist of it. So we'll just bring you in a little closer. So basically we've got our ribs are ready. I've got the sauce is going to start boiling. And the other thing I have going is I've got some rice that's already cooked. And in my oven, let's see, I can't even switch it around. But it's just about ready to come out. But if you can see that, I've got some broccoli on the stoneware. And so that was just a real quick dinner after coming home from a long road trip. So again, we're just going to let this boil. When it's finished, I'm just going to take it for the top of my ribs and we're done. So um, thanks for joining. Hope you keep subscribing and check out some more videos. Thanks, everyone. Have a great rest of the evening. Enjoy your dinner.